In the fast-paced world of luxury automobiles, where exclusivity and performance often come with eye-watering price tags, Porsche has once again captured the automotive spotlight. In a surprising move, Porsche CEO Oliver Bloom has announced the development and imminent release of a groundbreaking supercar that comes with a price tag that defies industry norms, a mere $23,000. This revelation has sent shockwaves through the automotive community, leaving enthusiasts and industry experts eager to explore the details of this unprecedented move. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Porsche, a brand synonymous with high-performance sports cars and luxury vehicles, is no stranger to pushing the boundaries of innovation. However, the introduction of a $23,000 supercar is a departure from their traditional market segment, typically occupied by high-end models like the 911 and the Panamera. Bloom's decision to venture into the more affordable realm is a strategic move, challenging the status quo and potentially reshaping the landscape of the supercar industry. As we delve into the details of this groundbreaking announcement, it's essential to understand the broader context of the automotive industry. Traditionally, supercars have been associated with hefty price tags, often well into the six or seven figures. Brands such as Ferrari, Lamborghini, and McLaren have dominated this space, offering unparalleled performance and luxury to a select group of elite enthusiasts. The introduction of a budget-friendly supercar by Porsche signals a shift in this paradigm, opening the doors to a wider audience who may have previously only dreamt of owning a vehicle of such caliber. The $23,000 supercar from Porsche is expected to rival not only traditional competitors, but also disrupt the entry-level sports car market. This move places Porsche in direct competition with manufacturers like Toyota, Subaru, and even the American muscle car giants. The affordability factor could attract a new demographic of buyers who aspire to own a performance-oriented vehicle without breaking the bank. One cannot discuss the impact of Porsche's announcement without acknowledging the current automotive landscape and the industry's growing emphasis on sustainability. Electric vehicles, or EVs, have become a focal point for many manufacturers, with Tesla leading the charge. Porsche, too, has entered the electric arena with models like the Taycan, showcasing their commitment to a greener future. The $23,000 supercar is rumored to feature an electric powertrain, aligning with Porsche's broader vision of sustainable performance. Bloom's strategic decision echoes a broader trend in the automotive industry, where established brands are diversifying their portfolios to cater to a wider audience. While Porsche's mainstay has always been high-performance luxury vehicles, the $23,000 supercar represents an expansion into a new market segment, allowing the brand to tap into the growing demand for affordable yet thrilling driving experiences. As we explore the implications of Porsche's announcement, it's crucial to consider how other manufacturers might respond to this unexpected move. Competitors like Ferrari and Lamborghini, known for their exclusivity and uncompromising performance, may feel the need to reassess their strategies. The $23,000 supercar challenges the conventional narrative that high performance comes with a prohibitive price, forcing competitors to reevaluate their pricing structures and potentially explore more accessible offerings. Additionally, established players in the affordable sports car market, such as Mazda with the MX-5 Miata or the Ford Mustang, might find themselves facing a formidable new adversary in Porsche. The German automaker's reputation for precision engineering and driving dynamics could give them a competitive edge in a segment traditionally dominated by more budget-friendly options. Beyond the immediate impact on competitors, Porsche's move could influence the entire industry's approach to pricing and market segmentation. If the $23,000 supercar proves successful, it may inspire other manufacturers to explore similar ventures, creating a ripple effect that could democratize access to high-performance vehicles. The announcement has not only captivated enthusiasts, but also sparked discussions within the automotive community about the potential features and specifications of the $23,000 supercar. While details remain scarce, there is widespread speculation about whether Porsche will compromise on performance or if they have found innovative ways to maintain their high standards within the constraints of the lower price point. Moreover, the $23,000 supercar has reignited conversations about the essence of a true supercar. 
Traditionally, supercars are defined by their exceptional speed, cutting-edge technology, and striking design. Porsche's ability to deliver these elements in a more affordable package challenges preconceived notions about what makes a vehicle truly exceptional. It prompts enthusiasts to question whether the exclusivity of a supercar is defined solely by its price tag, or if there is room for a more inclusive definition that prioritizes performance and driving experience. The unveiling of the $23,000 supercar has also prompted reflection on Porsche's historic contributions to the automotive world. The brand's legacy is deeply intertwined with iconic models like the 911, which has set the standard for sports cars since its introduction. The $23,000 supercar represents a bold step forward, expanding on this legacy and demonstrating Porsche's commitment to innovation and evolution. The announcement of the $23,000 supercar by Porsche raises intriguing questions about the engineering and design choices the company will make to achieve such an unprecedented price point. Traditionally, supercars are characterized by state-of-the-art materials, advanced aerodynamics, and powerful engines. The challenge for Porsche will be to balance these elements with cost-effective solutions that do not compromise the driving experience. One aspect that enthusiasts and industry experts are keen to learn more about is the powertrain of the $23,000 supercar. Given the increasing emphasis on sustainability in the automotive industry, there is widespread speculation that Porsche might opt for an electric or hybrid configuration. The success of the Taycan, Porsche's electric sedan, has showcased the brand's ability to deliver high-performance electric vehicles. If the $23,000 supercar follows suit, it could signal a significant step towards making electric performance accessible to a broader audience. While the electric aspect is intriguing, it also leads to considerations about range, charging infrastructure, and the overall environmental impact. Porsche's commitment to sustainability will likely drive them to address these concerns. Ensuring that the $23,000 supercar not only provides an exhilarating driving experience, but also aligns with evolving expectations regarding eco-friendly transportation. In terms of design, Porsche has a rich history of crafting timeless and iconic silhouettes. Enthusiasts are eager to see how the design language of the brand translates into the $23,000 supercar. Will it retain the sleek and aerodynamic lines that define Porsche's aesthetic? or will there be a departure to accommodate the cost constraints of the new venture? The intersection of affordability and iconic design is a delicate balance that Porsche must navigate to appeal to both existing fans and a new, more budget-conscious audience. The unveiling of this budget-friendly supercar also invites speculation about the features and technology that will be included. Historically, supercars have been equipped with cutting-edge technology, from advanced infotainment systems to driver assistance features. The $23,000 supercar will likely need to find a sweet spot, offering enough technological innovation to compete in the market without driving up production costs, and consequently, the final price for consumers. As we contemplate the impact of Porsche's announcement, it's worth considering how this move might influence the broader automotive industry's approach to pricing and market segmentation. The idea of a renowned luxury brand entering the budget-friendly segment is not entirely unprecedented. Brands like Mercedes-Benz and BMW have ventured into more accessible markets with models like the A-Class and the 2 Series. However, Porsche's reputation for high-performance vehicles adds a unique dimension to this shift, challenging the perception that exceptional driving experiences are reserved for the elite few. Moreover, Porsche's decision could set a precedent for other high-end automakers to explore similar ventures. If the $23,000 supercar proves successful, it may prompt competitors to reassess their strategies and consider expanding their product lines to cater to a broader audience. This potential shift could mark a turning point in the industry, making high-performance vehicles more accessible and redefining the boundaries of luxury. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, how did Porsche come up with this idea? What are the specifications and design of this car? And when will it be available in the market? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.